What's going on guys? My name is SkyXX Monfrey and welcome back to another video. Now, um, with the revamp of my channel, I wanted to make, uh, like, movie reviews and other things relating to that. So, uh, this video is pretty much just like a three month wrap up of the movie I've seen in the past three months and a brief review on all of them. So, watch the video if you want to. If not, stick around, you know. That kind of drill. So let's get into it with number one. I should correct myself and say uh, more like number 10. Because this is like a top 10 list of the ones I liked and the ones I didn't like. And, you know, that kind of thing. So the movie I'm talking about now is Happy Death Day to You. Honestly, this movie was pretty good. But it, it wasn't that good. But, yeah. I don't know. I'm seeing butts so much today. So, Happy Death Day to you is basically, you know, the girl uh, gets stuck in a time loop again. Has to do with things with her boyfriend and her mother. I mean, it's not that much of a plot change to the first movie. And I would really not recommend it. I'd give the movie, like, maybe a 6 out of 10. Number 9 was Aquaman. Now, Aquaman is actually a really good movie. But I'd have to say... It, it is not that good to me, because in my opinion, it can get a little boring. I mean, some of the action action sequences are pretty cool, but I feel like I've went into the story already knowing a pretty good, decent amount about Jason Momoa's character and how he plays Aquaman. Overall, I would definitely recommend this movie. Uh, it's something you should see, uh, part of the DC EU because it's actually a good movie that develops some of the story for the DCEU because there's not that many movies in the DCEU that actually contribute to that. I'd rate this movie also a 6 out of 10. Number 8 is A Dog's Way Home. Oh my god, this movie was so cute. It had me tearing up so much. Um, A Dog's Way Home, I don't know. It's just, it, it's really good. If you're an animal person, I'd say definitely go watch it. Because it's something that you'll really enjoy, but at the same time end up crying a little, <laughs> which I did. Um, so, uh, yeah. I definitely recommend it if you're an animal person. That's all I really have to say about the movie. I would rate it a 7 out of 10. Number 7 is Dumbo. Dumbo is surprisingly a really good movie. It's uh, It's not too dark, even though Tim Burton directed it. But I definitely say it's a good movie. Go see it. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure. Like, it, it's okay. It, it's not the best movie out there. But even if you don't know the story behind Dumbo, you can go into the movie with like a little bit of a surprise. And when Dumbo first flies, I honestly felt uh, a little bit of awe. Like, oh my god, he just flew, and I, I got a little feeling. And that's a good movie if it's a movie that does something like that. So, yeah, Dumbo. I'd rate it also a 7 out of 10. Number 6, Mary Poppins. Now, Mary Poppins, um, I also went into this Disney movie not knowing a single thing about Mary Poppins. Or even seeing the previous Mary Poppins movie. But I overall really enjoyed the movie. The music was fantastic. Uh, Triple Little Light, fantastic. Yeah, so the move, the music was pretty good. I really enjoyed it. I listened to a cover is not the book uh, to this day. And I, I don't know. Just Mary Poppins was good. I, I definitely recommend the movie. And I'd rate it an 8 out of 10. Number 5. <laughs> Alita Battle Angel. Alita, oh, there's a few things to say about this movie. Um, I think overall it was pretty good. I mean, I wasn't too familiar with the mangas or the anime of Alita Battle Angel, but uh, if you are a person that goes into Alita and doesn't know anything about the story in general, I think you'll like it because it has a good story. Um, it, it doesn't have uh, the feminist propaganda around it like Captain Marvel did, but it, 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 it's good, okay, it, it's just good, Alita, definitely recommend it, I'd rate it uh, an 8 out of 10, 
My number four spot is The Lego Movie 2. Now, I'm surprised that this is not farther up my list of movies I like, but I don't know what to say. It it was good, but maybe it's not the best it could possibly be. Like, I love the music. I love the plot with the sister and the brother and the bit of Starage and all that. But there's just something about it that feels off a little bit. But overall, it's a good movie, especially if you're a Lego fan. And if you're not a Lego fan, trust me, it's not an hour and 40 minute on commercial. Like <laughs> people may think. Uh, I'd rate the Lego movie too a 7 out of 10. Okay, um, my number three spot is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Yeah, uh, I know, I, I know, I understand that this movie came out in 2018, but I didn't get to see it until 2019. I think I saw it the first day of 2019 with my sister, and my first reaction is, I absolutely love the movie. I, I can't say that for much. Like the animation was fantastic, the characters were fantastic, the plots and everything. Like it, it was not um, expecting everything, and I didn't expect to happen. It's like a very good new and fresh movie that I definitely recommend. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I rate it a uh, 9 out of 10. My second favorite movie in the last three months would have to be Captain Marvel. Honestly, Captain Marvel. Really good. Putting um, away all that feminist stuff that the movie was surrounded by. And Brie Larson not wanting white males at her showings or less white males whatever all that is just just don't care about it go see the movie it's really good it's funny and it, it's not terrible at all i i don't know why people think it's so terrible just captain marvel's captain marvel's really good i'm not sure what i rated it in my youtube video reviewing it but i definitely rated it maybe an eight and a half out of ten now, for the moment you all have not been waiting for, my number one spot for my favorite movies in the last three months. It is... Shazam! I know, I know. Shazam isn't out yet, it comes out next month! Well, <laughs> I got to see an early showing using the lovely Fandango. And Shazam? Aw, oh, fantastic. I did also did a review on this. Um, I don't know, man, uh, Shazam, I, I can't say much without spoiling it, but it was really good, most of the things in the movie were unexpected, the villain was ex unexpected, uh, all that was just, it was fantastic, it was great, I definitely recommend Shazam, and I'd rate it a 9 out of 10, so, yeah. This is pretty much the end of the video now. I don't know how to end things, really. Uh, I've been putting off this video for a while. Um, All the video parts of the video, like the time stamps, will be in the description and the comments and everything. But I'll probably end up editing the words of the video so people know. Anyway, if you actually stuck around to watch my whole video, thank you so much. I'll see you next three months for another three months movie review thingy. I know Avengers Endgame will be a part of that, and I'll be making a separate review for that. But uh, other than that, if you like my video, well, like it, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Other than that, Skyforce, unite.